is awesome being here with y'all. Thank you so much for having me. Here for Governor Mule, y'all. Come on. Awesome, awesome every night. Awesome every night. Here's a long story short. Here I am standing, ten feet between us, beside me the door that I just came through, where I walk past an old way carpet. From a bulletproof jacket Who thinks to himself I've got to get back To the man that I was When I was a dreamer With a partner in crime Named Brandy McGill A girl with a love A life bigger than normal Who still wonders when Her life will begin Her best friend Maria Who seems to have everything Tells her she probably just Needs a vacation Away from the stress Of her husband Vocation. While Marie is talking, Brandy is drifting, staring at John, who just got the job, busting tables to pay for community college and associate's degree in X-ray technology. John is too old to still be in college. He doesn't like class and sometimes doesn't go. Long story short, his family was broken. He was free from a past life as a kid on the skid row. He notices Brandon, but stares at Maria. Her beauty well practiced in casting his spell. Imagining her naked, he spills dirty dishes on the lap of an elderly woman named Belle. A lady who won't live to see her next birthday, but shares a warm smile regardless of that. The mess that unfolds it completely surrounds her not one bit of urgency enters her soul she reaches for Roy, her husband forever in love and connection her small hand he holds and nothing comes up but a manager's anger, not for the mess, but her father's remark about that great that she had as a child. So she takes her revenge out by firing John, who now wonders when his life will begin. Ain't it confusing? Search for the will. Learn when you find it that you lost your way. Long story short, he saw a commercial that said that the 20s are the prime of your life. But that doesn't seem to be true at this moment as he cleans out his locker and he calls his best friend who's too busy to talk cause he's prepping with lawyers to keep money from his ex-wife, the mother of their only son who's naturally drawn to guns and sharp objects who now has no father except for on weekends two times a month. Y'all, no need to worry. I'm told we're protected by the men passing laws in the House and the Senate from people who mix up the truth and reality with movies and games and mixed up scenarios. Long story short, best I can tell, children can be left to 